Here we have a set of professional Oblivion tungsten, 90% tungsten darts from Harrow's. Now most dart people go to the back of the box, talk about the box, made in England, how good the box is. Who gives a rat's ass about the box is? Show me the freaking darts. Let's open the box. So there's the darts. Most people talk about the casing they're in. Once again, who gives a rat's ass? Show me the freaking darts. So there's the dart. Look at that, I tell you, that's a really good grip if you're looking for a good, firm, well, if you've got a light grip, this will give you a good grip because it's so roughed up around the dart, the whole way of the barrel, sensational. Nice points, the only thing is uh, just here, you can see there's a slight lip that could uh, hit the flights and get bounce out, but you can put a little attachment to that, it slides up the point, to make it a cone ending. But all in all, let's give them a chuck and see how they fly. The reason I like these, the grip of these darts is I've only got a three finger weak grip like this, per se. And that gives me plenty of grip. I'll drop a lot of darts that don't have much grip on them and these are, are feeling wise, awesome. These are 26 gram by the way. Oblivion Harrows. Now getting these flights on has been a pain in the ass. They're flaring at the ends, very hard to get on the shaft. As you can see, they're lapping over the shafts. I've got to take it out. So, so far, the actual flights themselves, very crap on average. Very difficult to get on. Not made that well at all. And for 80 bucks, these darts cost, give or take a few dollars. I expect a bit better from the flights. So there it is. I got one out of the three flights in correctly. The rest, I've ruined the flights already. Of course, I loosened the uh, ring you see there, but that, you can see the flights have stripped, they're crap. They were already flared when I kind of got them. Anyway, I've got the darts the main part. I was never going to keep this set up anyway. There it is. Now, let's chuck them. And of course they bounce out. But, for me, I like the way they fly. Now uh, these are my best scores. Eh. I mean not my best scores, these are my best scores, all 15 darters or 12 darters. They were just a really cool six games I put together. The points have a really good grip on them. Very hard to get out of the board. Well, you know, not hard, but you know what I'm saying? They really stick well. These are the darts I'm used to using, so there's a big difference in how long they are. These are target darts, but the grip seems to have gone on these ones. And I'm gonna have to put these red things in the front of the tips of these darts. So I'll take a bit of getting used to it all in all for a quick throw. I'm impressed, I like them. Recommend, go and get a set. Except, don't expect much from your flights, you're gonna ruin them getting them on. So I just changed the uh, flight and shaft to a spinner. And they don't fly as well, but now I've changed the length of the shaft, so maybe I've gotta to stick to this length and set up a bit different now. That's my normal setup with the old darts I was using. And they fly a lot better than with that setup anyway. I, yeah. I've got a bit to learn now. But all in all, impressed with the grip, feel and barrel.